Albert and Portha Lakes Brock. Fighting the war on human sex trafficking is more needed now than ever before. This summer, I traveled to North Bay, Sudbury, Belleville, Peterborough, Kenora, Kitchener, Waterloo, Cambridge, and Windsor to wow. hear and share information with police, service providers, and concerned citizens about the continuing uncovering and alarming growth rate of this not-so-underground criminal activity. The volume of media coverage on this issue should alarm this government, but it goes far beyond that. I continually hear from parents and grandparents scared out of their minds, worried it could be their child or grandchild next. Mr. Speaker, will the Premier explain why victims and service providers are still waiting on meaningful details of a comprehensive plan? Minister responsible for women's issues. Minister responsible for women's issues. Thank you, Speaker. And I want to thank the member for the important question and the work she's uh, done this summer on uh, addressing this very serious issue of human trafficking. I, too, spent my summer uh, very focused on this issue, further to our announcement of our human trafficking strategy in June of this year. And uh, just last week, Speaker, I was in Edmonton, as I shared with the member opposite last week, at a federal, provincial, uh, territorial uh, conference, and I put human trafficking on the agenda to talk about what we're doing here in Ontario in terms of our strategy and uh, what uh, and to learn to learn speaker from other provinces that have done some good work in this area as well as the member knows our strategy is focused on four pillars provincial coordination and leadership prevention and Answer. community supports enhanced justice sector in initiatives and indigenous led supports thank you speaker thank you well, Mr. Speaker, Manitoba, having one-tenth the population of Ontario, spends over $10 million a year battling a human sex trafficking because they get it. Mr. Speaker, to the Premier again, it's clear this government is not serious about human sex trafficking legislation when they continue to drive the agenda for their own gain. This gamemanship has to stop. Frontline service providers and workers are exasperated, and there is still nothing advancing the law to support them in fighting this horrific crime. Will the Premier commit now to passing Saving the Girl Next Door Act, which I'm reintroducing today, so Ontario will finally have legislation that will make a difference? Thank you. Minister. Thank you, Speaker. Well, I'm not sure if our House Leader has called that bill back up, but I just want to say that this government takes human trafficking very seriously. We are working very hard on this issue. Our strategy, Speaker, focuses on first and foremost on supporting survivors. That's critically important to us. We need to raise the wish, raise awareness of the issue of human trafficking because we know a lot of people don't recognize it happens right here in our province and in our country. And secondly, we need to hold those traffickers Order. accountable for this deplorable crime. Our strategy um, addresses that, Speaker, and. We need to work across our government with the Minister of uh, Community Safety and uh, Correctional Services, the Attorney General, the Minister of Community and Social Services, and we need to work with our Answer. municipal uh, leaders and police forces as well as the federal government to combat this terrible crime. Thank you. Thank you.